Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Double Trouble by Sadather. One day, I was playing Breath of the Wild with my sister. Well, she was playing on her phone, not caring what I was doing. Suddenly, I spot a deer in front of me. Her. Aw, it's so cute! Me. Takes bow. She was not happy when I killed the deer, that's for sure. But we laughed hard on how the meat was already cut and prepared right after the animal poofed out of existence. Talk about realism in video games. This description has nothing to do with this map, but I felt like telling you a funny story of mine. That's all. Why did I name it Double Trouble, you ask? There are two pits of goo, two fizzlers, two cubes. It depends of what will cause you trouble. <laughs> Alright, looks like somebody's enjoying the latest Nintendo game. Although... Doesn't say whether they're playing it on Wii U or Switch. Hmm. Anyway, let's see what we're in for today. Well, there's the first trouble. <laughs> I just like to jump like that. Whenever a faceplate launches me, I enjoy maintaining the velocity. <laughs> Alright, so. The faceplate will launch us over there. This button is one of many requirements for the exit. And we also need a laser. So we'll probably want to put a laser cube here. And then we also have a requirement all the way over here of another button. Alright. This button controls this fizzler. And this button... apparently spawns both cubes. Ooh. They don't auto-respawn, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we're gonna have to do this... the... the annoying way. Yep, there we go, that works. But then, how would we get the other cube? Hmm... I guess we'll want to portal... How would we do that? There's no light bridge, right? Does this mean we can only have one cube at a time? No, because we need both cubes for the final solution. Alright, well, let's, let's just deal with one thing at a time. What? I missed the button. Alright, there's that. And that. I guess theoretically we could just do... This. Right? But that's not really what we want to do right now. What we really want is to be able to grab that cube before it hits the face plate, and also to grab that cube. Oh boy. Cause they don't auto-respawn. It really does feel like we can only have one cube at a time right now. Which is kinda weird. Cause we definitely do need both for the final solution. You know, I wonder... Can we do this? Oh yeah, we totally can. Come on. There we go. But that's... we still need the other cube, though. Oh, I almost got saved by the bell, but I didn't. What is with this little decorative area here? Just decorative? I suppose. What if we do this? Oh no! I see what I have to do. Alright, well... 
that's gonna be fun. Uh... How would I do that in time? Is that really what I have to do? That sounds like quite... a challenge. Actually, hang on a sec. I might be overcomplicating things a, a tiny bit, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh... No, I definitely have to stand on this button to be able to get that cube in here. And I need the laser here activated to get the other cube in here. I feel like I have to rush to this button and then shoot both portals, which sounds crazy. But, I guess we can try. Ah... Let's try that again. I don't know whether it's faster to reload or manually set things up again, to be honest. Oh my gosh, that was so close! But I feel like that's what I have to do, right? Because I can't think of any other way to do this, but... Surely Sadather wouldn't make such an execution-based puzzle, right? this, I can get the companion cube, but there's no way I can get over to this button in time to get the laser cube. Oh wow, this laser's at quite an angle. Wow, it's actually bending. Yeah, right now I can only have one cube at a time. Unless I try and master this maneuver. So let's see. So if I do this quickly enough. Oh my gosh. Hit the portal. Nope. Even- even at one quarter speed, I can't do it. Let's try this again. So let's see here. Portal there, and there. And did it! But I feel like that's not intended. I can't think of any other way to do this, though. That works, but that's so precise, so execution-based, that I really doubt that that's what I'm supposed to do. But what else- what else could I do, though? Because there's not enough time for anything else. As soon as I press the button, anything I have set up with the laser is basically... Out of the question. That really doesn't feel right, though. So I can get the laser cube... the normal way, right? Then if I try to put it anywhere... It'll just fizzle before... There's- there's no way I can use ghost helpers in this map, that's for sure. This button is- we've already established that this button is way too far away from this button for me to run across in time. But 
what else could I do? the other option to get the other cube, if we wanted to get the companion cube instead, which is actually less useful, is we could do this. That would certainly work to let us get that. And then we can't get the laser cube then. Clear our portals to get out of here. I don't know, I'm. I can't think of any other way to do it other than that extremely execution based way. So. At this point, really, all we can do is. First, we'll need to put the companion cube where it belongs. Actually, I need to be able to get back to the exit, so that's important. Uh... Give me this. Here we go. get this on here in a such a way that it's straight. Uh, hmm. Probably not, right? Oh, although, I know a way I can do this. Give me this. Put that there. Put this here. Take this. There, now it's straight. There we go. So there's that, at least. Although I wanted it to be over there, right? Even having both cubes, I don't see how I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> portal on this side and on that side at the same time, and I need both cubes in my hands. Huh.
I am actually quite confused here. How do I make this work? I think I see a way, potentially. I forgot about the faith plate, so if I do this... Ah, yes, there we go. Faith plates to the rescue. But I still feel... unsatisfied with my solution here. I'm pretty sure I've done something horribly wrong, and I don't know what it is. Oh well, I, I guess I'll wait for Sadather to tell me whether I need to replay the map or not. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!